Hello, my name is Mike Gaben and welcome to Making History Mission 9. This is the series in which I'm going through all of the missions in the Making History DLC and Going for Gold. And in this one we are up to Acapello 15. Last episode we had Acapello 13. This is Acapello 15 and you might recall Apollo 15 was the first mission, the Apollo mission that featured a rover and yes rovers are going to be featured into this but not the moon why don't we read this summary here so hello team the time has finally come to explore our second natural satellite the mission will be focused on exploration and rock extraction so we're going to need a powerful rover amongst other things let's build a vessel capable of taking the rover to minmus and bringing back the precious load to Kerbin. All right, so once again, uh, got silver. It's down here. Yeah, there we go. I got silver the first time. Know what is required. Just actually need a measly 500 more points. Hopefully, I should be able to do it. We'll see how this goes. Let's let's not jinx this whole thing. Okay, why don't we get ourselves started? And we are starting once again in the VAB. This dialog box just says the same thing. Let's meet the Acapello 15. There it is up there. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in the VAB. Um, there is my I, I like I got into SR solid fuel SRB, so I do like I I don't know, I, I just like SRBs. <laughs> I like the look of them when they're flying off, and I like the I, I, li I like the pair of them on the sides here. But anyway, this is my min miss rocket. Let's just go over what some of the mission requirements are. The vessel requires exactly two Kerbals, and you can see right now I have three, so why don't we deal with that? Bob always seems to like to get in the mix. Um, get out of there, Bob. We'll leave an empty seat, and there is an empty seat for a reason. You might be wondering why didn't you go with the lighter two crewed capsule, but well, we'll see. You'll see why in just a moment. Uh, vessel can't exceed 60 ore. You know, I never noticed that before. Why would you put... Oh, whatever. I'm not even going to worry about that. I thought that was a way thing. Vessel can't exceed 250,000 funds. My vessel is at 60,970 tons significantly below so if you want to build something bigger you certainly could and the vessel requires at least these parts the drillmatic junior mining extractor because we are going to be extracting some ore as the mission description said a radial holding tank to hold said ore and the eas-1 external command seat that is for our rover why don't we get this ball rolling and get started Oh, to Minmus! Hi everyone, this is Werner von Kerman. The Acapella 15 looks incredible. I can't wait for the precious rocks to come back here. Our experts believe they will add a nice flavor to the mushroom stew. This delicacy could bring a big income into our space program. Let's land on Minmus at the designated area. And oh, don't forget to bring an engineer aboard. The rover might need some repairs after landing. Yeah, and we do have our engineer. Of course, we have Bill and we have our pilot, Jebediah. Um, you might have known, you might go, why are you always going with Jeb? What about poor Valentina? Well, I, I wish I actually showed you this in the VAB, but Valentina is not available. What is that about? But anyway, we are on our way with Mimmus. You can see we are launching from the KSC, nicely placed on the equator. We have gone to Mimmus before, but that was from the uh, Woomerang launch site that's at a latitude of 45 degrees this is going to be easier because we are launching from the equator but let's still remember that minmus is at an inclined orbit of six degrees so we will go to the proper launch window which is going to be at let's rotate around here I always like the moon because the moon is a nice convenient marker of an inclination of zero and we want to launch ourselves. This is going to be at the ascending node. That's going to be close enough. So now we will time warp. And then that way we'll launch right here. We'll launch ourselves into a six degree inclination. More specifically, we'll be launching six degrees towards the north. And that will make our transfer out to Minmus much easier with a minimal minimum 
of inclination corrections that are going to be required along the way. Okay, SAS on, throttle up, and we are off. Lifting off of the pad, and we will start our gravity turn. Let's do this thing. And of course, oh my goodness, you have seen this thing so many times before, but actually we, I don't think I've quite launched into an inclined, let's lock, let's lock that on prograde, uh, an inclined orbit before. What I am doing is I would like my heading to be about six degrees, my final inclination is to be six degrees north of 90, which of course would be 84 degrees. But I find that if I can get my heading to be about 83 degrees, that works out to be just about perfect. You can see I'm pretty close. I'll continue playing with this, of course. Why don't we see each other once we are finishing our circularization and orbital insertion? Oh, just about there. That's good enough. Alrighty, there we go. Oh, and uh, I do have managing electricity here. Uh, it is one. That is the button that I want to push. There we go. I do have uh, solar panels on this thing. They gave us gave us some deployable solar panels. If that's nice, and I noticed I pressed the wrong action group and also deployed the ladder. But let's get this going. There we go, and I do apologize. These the sound effects with these radial Rocco Max engines is uh, pretty frickin' loud. Let's, uh, let's see which one does the ladder. This one, there we go. Oh, that'll do her. A little overcooked it just a smidge, but that's okay. Uh, we'll perform a correction burn in uh, just a little bit. Why don't we use this opportunity where I think we're nicely exposed in the sunlight here? Yeah, let's take a look at our rover because trust me, when I'm down on Minmus, speed is gonna be of the essence. I will not have time to talk about it then. Uh, not a lot of new parts that come with the DLC except for very prominently is the, what do we call these things? The Rovemax M1-5 rover wheels. And what I really like about them other than the obviously copying the Apollo aesthetic when it comes to the rover wheels is that as you can see they're folded away that makes them nice and compact and it's toggled with the gear action group so if I hit gear they deploy really nicely of course our landing gear does too and you can also see the landing gear extend beyond the rover so you can you got the whole plan on how I plan on dropping this let's put this back down it also features our drilling unit here, the Drillomac Junior, and don't forget if you are going to be doing some drilling radiator, the drilling does generate quite a lot of heat, so you want to radiate that heat away. A small radiator is absolutely fine, and the radiator is toggled with the drill, so when I turn on the drill, radiator comes on. When I turn off the drill, radiator comes off. Uh, you might have also noticed on this rover a number of fairly prominently placed RCS ports. There are a lot of them. We'll get to why. Uh, I think I mentioned with this rover, speed <laughs> is going to be of the essence. So this thing, as kind of boxy and clunky as it looks, it is built for speed. That'll do it. Let's see what our situation is here. Oh, wow. Well, oh, you know what? We're just going to do this thing. Now, before we do this thing, though, uh, we're going to do something that I'm sure is not in the procedure manual for NASA. We are going to, before we land, take our driver, which is going to be Bill, and we're going to put him into that rover seat, well, right now. <laughs> because we will not have time to do any transferring once we hit the surface so let's find one of our chairs we do have two of them but Jeb is gonna stay with the vessel 
Here's one of our chairs there. We will click and we will board. All right, Bill is there. Oh, Bill looks excited, I tells ya. And, uh, but we gotta stay with this. The, the control point has now switched to the seat, so do make sure if you're following along with me that you change the control point back to the capsule. Let's get our descent already here. Now there is a 90% accuracy bonus. So you do want to get in close, but typically on these powered landings, especially on min miss, which is pretty forgiving, that's not too tough. Um, this is one of these missions where you can quick save as many times as you want. Uh, so, you know, feel free to quick save and try as many times as you like until you get the 90% bonus. You know, one kind of funny thing is I've been complaining how the game doesn't, uh, missions do not give you feedback about whether you're getting your bonuses or not, but all of a sudden I realized one quick way that you can easily rectify that situation or game that situation just a little bit is to save as you're coming in here with a unique save name and then simply quit the game and um, in fact I'm gonna do that right now just to show you what I mean you can save the game give it a quick um, uh, a, a unique name not just quick save one like uh, I don't know, my save you can see how imaginative I am and then this way you can quit Go back to the main menu, you know, pause the mission, and uh, see if you got the 90% bonus. And if you did, then great. And if you didn't, then, you know, obviously you just try her again. Okay, let's, let's punch that. Kill off my horizontal velocity. That's pretty good. And I'm going to rotate this because I know where I need to go next and uh, and I want the rover fo pointing more or less the right direction okay do a bit of a stage because whoops because uh, we're gonna be ready there that's I have to stage twice to get the rover to go Lots of fuel on this thing, I don't have to worry about that, but as soon as we're down, we're going to stage here. Okay. There we go. Get ready. Breaks off. Just going to wait for our message. There we go, we're not going to read. Stage, switch, and RCS on and H. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We have ourselves. Oh dear. Not quite pointing the right way. Go. We got ourselves three minutes to get there. And I've done this before. And I found that what I need to do right now is get this thing up to about 100 meters per second. It's nice that we got ourselves some nice flat ground, but uh, I think we're about to run out of that, so off we go. <laughs> you can see why I've got myself these RCS thrusters. We'll keep going. Yeah, three minutes to go. It was over nine kilometers to this waypoint. That is, in my mind, just a little bit bonkers. <laughs> Now, having said that, the radius is what? Just over two kilometers, so I actually only have to, here, I can stop now. I actually only have to, I don't have to get right to it. I gotta get within two kilometers of it. So we're not really, the rover wheels, by the way, I have them on, uh, on, uh, there's no motor. The motor has been turned off on all of them, so they're just wheels in the sense that they go round and round, but they don't power anything. Are the, I think we need to be start slowing down, getting down towards the surface here. Uh, this thing is purely about pushing it using the RCS. Oh, I hope I didn't start slowing down too late. Get down, come on, down, 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 down. What's our time? Oh, we're under two minutes at the clock 
definitely could have started slowing down sooner than this. We are just falling now. Let's get down. And I'm pretty sure that uh, you have to be stopped. Whoa, 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 brakes, brakes. Oh, shoot, a little hard. <laughs> oh my gosh, going down. Okay, and uh, three and four and five. <laughs> I'll be definitely checking this afterwards. We need to get 1.5 units of ore into this thing. Not before the three minute mark. The three minute mark was just to get there. I don't like it that there is no kind of message, to be quite frank. I won't show you, by the way, where I go and check and see if I did it under the three minute mark or not. Uh, actually, the messages that you've already seen will inform you of that. We are now at 0.75 units of ore. Actually, we can time warp, of course. And there we go. Extraction rocks, 8736. Good job, Archipelago. Acapello 15. Now go to the second area coordinates, 8736. Continue. Okay, so disengage the drill. Lift her up. And we will also retract our solar panels because once we start driving, those panels are destined to be broken. Alrighty, now what is nice is time constraints are now off. So we shall, let's turn the RCS off and just do this. I do have a set of reaction wheels in the middle of it, so that's kind of nice. Um, normally I find if I put reaction wheels into a rover, a small rover, it actually gets to be a bit of a problem because uh, there we go. We can get ourselves faster than this. Because uh, all of a sudden, you know, when you start pushing other buttons, I don't know. Like you push W, for instance, is pitching forward rather than moving forward, which is what the reaction wheels want to do. Let's see how Bill's doing here. Oh, Bill, are you having fun? Oh, Bill, definitely. Let's turn the RCS off. No reason to use up that monoprop. Still, oh, not that much monopropellant. Got to be a little bit careful. I mean, worst comes to worst, we can always turn on the motors and drive at this stage. Bill, though, oh my, he loves this ride, that's for sure. Okay, we can put on the brakes and we can start slowing ourselves down. Because we are within the radius here. We definitely are. And it is slowing down very, very slowly. Let's use it bit of mono propellant to slow ourselves down. I don't want to use a lot because clearly I don't have a huge amount left here. Let's turn it off. We'll leave the rest of it on the brakes. Okay. And stopped. Okay. Stranded on Minmus. Acapella 15, we have an unexpected task for you. As unbelievable as it sounds, we're receiving a distress call from a stranded astronaut on Minmus. We're really skeptical about this since we've never sent anyone there before. Can you go to the destination area and investigate just in case? So you can see another waypoint has come up. So we need, to oh, <laughs> let's get on the RCS going again. Oh, brakes, 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 brakes. There we go. All right, let's go watch your monopropellant. Don't use up too much. Okay, this is gonna take a little while to get there, uh, but don't worry about it. You don't have to watch it. And er, saving Valentina, Acapella 15, this is Walt. So the stranded Kerbinot was Valentina Kerman. I don't understand this. You were supposed to be on vacation for the next two weeks. Well, now that we think about it, there were some missing parts in the VAB lately. I can't believe this. 
We can't wait for you to get back to Kerbin. Abort the mission and come back home. And now you know why I got the extra seat on my rover. There's Valentina, hardly any distance away at all. Let's see if we can just point in the right direction. Put the brakes on. Couple of little puffs. So I am really want to conserve my mono propellant. Actually, what the heck, might as well just break. We can EVA Valentina over here, can't we? Certainly, let's do that. Hey, yeah, Valentina. Lights on. Yes, now, uh, and if you notice, there is no kind of spacecraft around here. Not quite sure what happened to the spacecraft. Valentina seems to have lost it and is just a lone Kerbal out on the fields of Minmus. But nevertheless, of course, we are not going to leave her behind. Get on in there, Val. All right, now we need to get ourselves back to our ship, which is almost 13 kilometers away. Shouldn't be a problem. Uh, you'll notice I just did a quick save because, well, if you recall, that ship is parked on one of the frozen lake beds so we got a significant amount oh oh no I still got lots of money okay let's let's get her up to 25 that's good uh, it's down there so we got a significant amount of downhill ahead of us <laughs> and well Bob Bob or Bill I'm sorry not Bob Bill is a bit bit of a maniac and kind of enjoys tobogganing oh yeah oh this is gonna be a fun ride <laughs> here we go yeah <laughs> what's nice with the reaction wheels of course is that we can orient this and do our best to when we touch down <laughs> at some point to at least have it so that all four wheels will hopefully hit the ground at the same time a little tough to see the ground given how dark everything is we're in the shadow here min miss it, or the sun is going to be setting behind us pretty soon Valentina, I don't know how. What does Valentina think of Bill's driving here? Valentina doesn't look too sure to me. No, no, I don't think she is definitely not enjoying this as much as Bill is. She's like, Bill, what the hell is wrong with you? And Bill, of course, is, hey, I'm not the one who cobbled together a makeshift spaceship and got myself out to Minmus just to show up, Jeb. Uh oh here we come here we go whoa yeah we're still here <laughs> and next to uh, oh do love reaction wheels oh there we go we are on the ground that should be the worst of it of course we are picking up speed while we're doing this but and we got a nice flat frozen lake bed down there on the bottom that will certainly help us out when it comes to slowing down. Alrighty, there we go. And as these guys bring themselves to a stop, let's actually put our ladder down. And, oh, rock home, nice work, Acapello 515. It's time to fly back home with your intriguing load of rocks and the rescued Kerbal. 
I can't wait to taste them in my next mushroom stew. I mean the rocks, not the Kerbal. We'll just come back safely, okay? We've uploaded a good target try to land in the designated area. Yes, there is, as you can see, uh, a 90% accuracy bonus. The bane of my existence is actually the accuracy bonus when it comes to Kerbin. And landing, I find that so hard doing the non-powered landing and getting really accurate. But again, you can save as many times as you want. We'll see how I do. It might be a function of my own level of frustration. Oh, and don't worry about bringing the rocks back. Regardless of what the messages are saying, you do not need to bring the ore that you mine back in order to... Uh, successfully do the mission. Now this first pass is an arrow breaking pass. I'm not coming and descending and I'll likely have to do a few passes. Time is not a huge deal. Okay, that's 50 kilometers. We'll see how this works. There we go. Okay, that's an apple apoapsis of 115 kilometers. Let's get ourselves out to Apoapsis, push our periapsis out of the atmosphere, and then take a look at what our situation is. Here's our waypoint. Again, got to get within. 63 kilometers. Uh, I think I'm going to be overshooting just a little bit, but I might be close enough. Again, remember, all I want to do is get within 63 kilometers of it. I think this is going to be good enough. Let's get rid of Mr. Heat Shield. I am a little over 60 kilometers away. Let's hope this is good enough for gold. We'll see how we do. And... Hoorah! There we go! And again, if you really, really want that extra 500 points, be my guest. That drives me crazy. I'm not going to do it. You, you know what? We are almost done this particular series. We got one more. So for now, I'm going to thank you for watching. And I hope to see you for the last episode of this series.